much. Let's bring in John Katsimatidis. He is the CEO of Gristidis Foods. Sir, we just heard about grocery store prices going really straight up, very strong increases in prices. When will grocery prices either level off or start to come down? Well, he was 100% correct on those uh, increases on beef, pork, etc. Uh, it's the manufacturers that are panicking. Uh, they, it, it's the increased cost of transportation. Uh, it's the energy cost. It's the cost of gasoline that went from $2 a gallon to $3, $3.5 a gallon. It's the uh, increase on not being able to get truck drivers. Uh, we have shortages in our New York stores because Coca-Cola, they can't get truck drivers to deliver into New York City. And uh, it's a serious problem. So uh, with the perishables, perish perishables traditionally go up and down. And they, the manufacturers, not the manufacturers, the, the producers that have the perishables, like beef and pork and, and, and dairy products, they raise the products because they have an old crap moment. Uh, we, we can't afford to lose money. And then if the volume goes down, they have an old crap moment and say, oh, my God, volume is down. Uh, let's let's get a little bit sharper. And uh, and uh, prices in the perishable well, departments is a sine wave. It goes up and down. But overall well, course. When is it over? Well, uh, when is my, it over? My point is, you, yeah, you've outlined the inflation that we've got. When does it start to plateau and come down? Well, you know, crude oil is seventy dollars a barrel. I mean, give me a break. Do you think this going to go down? Do you think the Saudis, the the Russians, are going to accept less than seventy dollars a barrel? That that's a, it, it's not going to happen. I believe crude oil. They said the the uh, Saudis and and those uh, they said that they're going to try to limit it to seventy five dollars a barrel. So the transportation costs are forever. The shortages in labor, if we get the people back to work, if we stop giving out unemployment checks, so uh, the fact says that it's it, it pays for them to stay home versus going to work, that'll, that'll help transportation costs on that end. But I don't see prices going down in the near future. And I, the price of crude oil is not going down. And inflation is here to stay. So the question is, what is the next step? Yeah, the good question. I don't have an answer. But John Katsimatidis, thanks for joining us. You know what you're talking about. You run Gristidis, the grocery store chain. And that's all well, good stuff. Well, you know, we're in the John? oil business. Stuart, we're, we're in the oil business and we're in the food business. So yeah. we know both sides. And, uh, and you know, over the last few months, my, we've been more right than wrong. I hear you. John, thanks for joining us this morning. I'm sure we'll see you again Thank soon. You. Thank you, sir.